there's 192 museums in London, out of which 11 of them are national museums. London has some of the weirdest museums in the whole world. <laughs> I don't trust it. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> you need to try it. You need to go on there and you need to try it. And today we're going to be checking them out. The first museum we're going to be going to is the Horny Man's Museum, which is right behind us. We're trying to get inside Horny Man. <laughs> get a cat? Yep, that's a cat. I don't trust it. So we're at the entrance of Horny Man's Museum. It's a very questionable title. Look, Horny Man's Legacy. It's your story. What do you mean? It's my story, bro. Look at that. Doesn't that look real? Secondary? Sexual. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I'm bird watching. This museum was really interesting, especially with the exhibitions it had. The animals look extremely realistic. I mean, too realistic. Part of me really wants to adopt like Foxy. I don't know why, like don't they just look like the coolest animals in the whole animal kingdom? And they even had a place where we could draw and put up our drawing. I'll just put ours in front of it. JR made that. All right, so we're done with Horny Man's Museum. Review time. The cost to enter, well, since to enter this one, I didn't have to pay 10 out of 10. Next, how busy it gets. This museum was actually not that busy, but it wasn't that empty either. It was like that perfect sweet spot that you would want when you go into a museum. Interior design, mind gobbling. The architecture and the way it's like, there's floors in a floor. And finally, the museum experience. There's a cat over there. That's part of the museum experience, I'm assuming. And I give it a 10 out of 10. Horny Man's Museum is the type of museum I want to be in. <laughs> that was not a good way to say that. <laughs> Museum of Brands. It's raining and my cameraman is taking a big risk right now, so we're just gonna go inside directly. We're not gonna wait outside. Welcome to my crib. I was really excited when I first saw the Museum of Brands, and then the reviews had me feeling even better. Well, some of them not as much. This is the entrance. These are like all the brands throughout the years. You know what time it is? Sometime. Guess what time it is? It's five o'clock. It's time for fun facts about museums. Did you guys know that there are more than 55,000 museums in the whole world? Pretty sick. That's not even a good fact. That's actual chocolate. Yeah, that's actual chocolate in there. What the hell? There we go. Your favorite mouse. That's a giraffe, bro. What are you talking about? You know what's funny about this? I was going to make a joke that that guy kind of looked like Hitler <laughs> until I noticed that they have actually like a thing of Hitler. <laughs> I think that's all the Museum of Brands has to offer. Did you take B-roll shots? Cool. I guess I'm using B-roll after this. B-roll. <laughs> the museum was good until they started repeating patterns. Cost the enterprise, I had to pay 50 pounds. How busy it got? Well, there were barely five people there. Interior design wise, it was boring as hell. <laughs> they didn't do much when it came to the display. Like they gave up. Museum experience was okay-ish because I still do all the history of these products, which I respect a lot. I guess Monte Keo was right. It was boring. Welcome to Narnia. So we're here at the Science Museum. I've always found stuff like science and space and shit very fascinating. So this was one for the book. Even the reviews of the place were amazing. Look at the earth right in front. Look, it changes to the sun. It's fucking cool, this shit is so cool. This place is pretty fucking busy. Question for the ages. Here we have Neil Armstrong. Apparently he touched the moon or something. I don't know. If you think about it, the moon really is a living organism, right? So if a dude touched the moon, wouldn't that be sexual assault? Doesn't it look fucking insane? That's actually gonna be my car. Come here, look at this shit. Doesn't that just make you wanna kiss it? All right. Anyways, who am I? I'm Batman. We've been here for over an hour and I think we've only gone through a quarter. Point which way you want to go. Just look at me, don't look around. Point which way, like point the camera. But in my opinion, the coolest interior design on a museum. Look at that, there's another part. I realized we would have to spend the whole day here to visit each inch of this museum. We can't do that. So we're gonna jump on to the next museum right away. Cost to enter wise, this place is pretty cheap. They, I don't know why though, they force the fact that you have to donate, they force that shit down your throat three different times. 
how busy it gets. Every door we walk through, there's an army of kids just there. It's a museum and I just see kids playing tag. Interior design. Interior, interior design? Probably the best. Probably the best. And a museum experience, for me personally, too many steps. <laughs> Lifts are too small. Uh, I'd say seven out of ten for me. Okay, so we're at the design museum right now. We're gonna go check this place out as well. I've never been here. I was really looking forward to the design museum because of the five-star review, which talked about how beautiful these exhibitions were. These reviews made me want to go there even more. So we have a chimpanzee from Black Panther. Okay, now it's gonna start raining. Now you better hide that camera. <laughs> What's this? What? Why is that here? Clay bricks. So these are just clay bricks. Bricks made out of clay. The stuff kids play with. Here's a fun fact about the design museum. It was established in 1989 and then they moved to Kensington in 2016. What is this? What, what is this? Straw. What, like this, this thing over yeah. here? What, paper straws? Straw is a material. Oh, cool. <laughs> I was literally in my head, I was like, straw, like what? That's all paper straw, are you crazy? That, that doesn't look like it. What the fuck? What is it like to be a bat? This was 1970s, 1980s. That is awesome. I would wear that if they had a male version. <laughs> you wanna go to the next museum? The design museum was interesting. I don't think I know enough about art to question the art, but the way the exhibition was set up was overrated and boring. Luckily, I didn't have to pay to enter. It wasn't busy at all. It was too quiet, maybe. The interior design of the design museum was surprisingly not good. And considering the overall experience was the best i'd give this a five out of ten the horny man's museum was better horny man so we're at the balloon museum which i've been extremely excited about when you were ready show me your tickets and you have to go through here oh i can show it to you right now if you want we are so early look, look over there look over there wow. <laughs> i ain't gonna lie this shit's pretty cool all right <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> this is the coolest Museum I've ever been to. Uh, hi. Hi. So how how we meant to experience it? Every exhibition really like have different emotions. Okay, I see. Yeah. This is like the emotion frustration. Yes, yeah. Oh my so, days. So there's a couple more. This is just the third one you're gonna experience. Yeah, so. He said to read the whole thing and well right now he's looking at me so I kinda have to. Bugs Bunny. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> Which one is the best one you experienced? So far? Yeah. Probably this one. Probably. The Balloon Museum is based on emotions. Each exhibition is its own emotion. This one is anxiety. You have been warned. All right, three, two. This is insane. What? Where am I? <laughs> Look at this, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. Feel it, feel it. Yo, I need to get the fuck out of here. I'll be, I'll be real with you. This was worth the 50 quid. Alright, what's next? Desire. <laughs> this is where I come in, baby. It's a broken disco. No, 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 it's deflated. Probably it's gonna reinflate and then deflate again. Next emotion is layered. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Try to touch This is the thing that is insane. Should I like squish my face into it? Nah, 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 nah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go there. <laughs> they put a baby on. Alright. Oh, shoe covers. Yeah, shoe covers. Wear them because soon you will be in the boat. <laughs> the exhibition continues. <laughs> thank you, alright. Thank you so much. Okay, the next one is trust. Holy shit. This shit is trippy, but I love it. This is insane. <laughs> Cameraman JR. This is still trust. Look, hold on. So you're telling me. You're free to join in the fun if you like. Yeah? We can, we can jump in. This is actually pretty cool. JR, you need to come try this. You need to come try this. Big cameraman. Okay. Okay, not, not much you can do. All right, all right. All right, next up. Absorption of art. Oh, fuck off. This is it. Fuck off. Look at this. This is the most cinematic thing I've ever seen. Whoa. What is this? It's mine, your safety. And don't lose any items or shoes. 
All right. Thank you. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> we're not allowed to go in. No. I was wondering. So we're not allowed to go inside. Oh, yes, the hell you are. It's a ball pit. I'm just not allowed to jump. Jump. Do it. I'm, I'm taking everything out. I have no idea how excited I am right now. I think I can jump, though. I can jump. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. You need to try it. You need to go on there and you need to try it. Go! Go! <laughs> You're sinking! That's the performance! Just sit down, just sit down, it's good. Relax. Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, performance has ended. The exhibition continues. If you think that was enough, there's way more. What's this? Joy and rebellion right here. This isn't much, it's just 1980s character over there. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of shit, isn't it? Oh, you're not allowed to touch a balloon. What, you're trying to catch some balloons? Do you know what a bubble is? Yeah, I meant bubble. My guy said it's a balloon. Get out of it. Amazement and wonder, all right, cool. JR, we can move these. We're gonna recreate the scene in Indiana Jones where he's running away from the boulder. You wanna help with a little segment we're about to do? Now, 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 now. JR, best be ready. <laughs> I was not expecting that. The way it hit me in the back of my head. I fucking hell, was that an experience? You are not pushing that hard. What is this? If I get copyright for this shit, I'm suing. I don't want to get copyright. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your night. And that was the best fucking museum experience I've ever had. So we're, we're gonna rate this motherfucker. For that to happen, are you willing to take a risk? What? So it is time to judge. Cost to buy, I had to pay 50 pounds. For me and JR both, how busy it gets. It doesn't actually get that busy. It's actually pretty massive, so it can't get that busy. The next one is interior design. Fucking insane. And finally, the entire museum experience. 10 out of 10, I think this museum is worth it. You guys should go there. It's for two people for 50. I think it's worth it. Do you think it's worth it? Book online. Book online. But would you would you come here again? Do you think it's worth it to come here again? Definitely, definitely. All right, now end it, end it before we get hit over. Uh, there's the end of the. <laughs>